uh, greetings, greetings, fellow grade 11s. It is Mr. Lachari here. Welcome to Back to Basics. What we are doing now, basically, we are looking at our past paper. This is going to be our November 2023 paper. This is from the Gauteng province, right? So we are still looking at number 13 to see and try to understand in terms of how do we then go about whenever we are given such questions, right? Now, I want us to look at this. Now, the first question is here you are given tan x. Here you are given sine x. Here you are having uh, sine x multiplied by cos x. Oh, it's okay. Now, so the first thing here, they want us to know in terms of how each uh, term uh, is found from the what? From the previous term. Oh, it's okay. Uh, now, what is it that I want us to look at in here, right? So, which means, for an example, from here to move from here to here. Remember what is tan x, if I can give you, right? Tan x, isn't it that tan x is the same as sine x divided by cos of x? Oh, it's okay. So, which means uh, here, what is that they did, basically? Uh, now, they said, uh, now, they multiplied by what? They multiplied by cos of x, right? They multiply by cos of x because when you say sin x over cos x, multiply by cos of x, then the cos and the cos are going to cancel each other. You are going to left with the sine, right? Oh, it's okay. And then now, if you are having sin x, then when you say sin x multiply by cos x, then can you see that you are getting sin x multiply by cos x, right? Oh, it's okay. So which means basically here, the difference is that they multiply by cos x, right? They multiply... Uh, multiply, multiply by cos x, right? So they multiply by cos x here so that they can get to the next term. Oh, okay. So what is it then that you're going to do to, uh, to get to the next term? For an example, can you see that now here you are in what? Here you are given, right? Uh, now they want us the next four term. Remember now we are having sine x uh, multiply by cos x. So, which means then now to move to the next term, then you are going to multiply by cos x again, right? And cos x multiplied by cos x is the same as cos x squared, which means this is the same as sine x multiplied by cos x squared, which is going to be the following term, right? So, which means your following term here, it's going to be sine x. Uh, it's going to be sine x multiplied by cos uh, squared x, right? Sine x multiplied by cos squared x. How to get so basically, now that is going to be uh, what you are having. Oh, it's okay. Now, let's look at now your 3.2. In 3.2, you are given that you're having negative 1, you're having 2, you're having 5, you're having 8, right? Now, let's make up our space here and see in terms of how uh, can we go about in solving this type of a question, right? Now, look, you're having negative 1, you're having 2, you're having 5, you are having eight, right? Now, if you can come back and find out what are the differences in here, right? Now, the difference that you are going to find uh, in everything here, you are going to realize that the difference here is same as three, right? So this difference is same as three, it's same as three, it's same as three. Now, it's okay. And then now to find out the nth term, then you are going to write the uh, your, your general pattern, which is same as tn is equal to a plus into bracket n subtract one close bracket d. Right now, the a represents the first term, which is negative one plus n subtract one. The difference we said it's three, right? So, which means this is same as negative one, then three multiplied by n. This is same as positive three n. Three multiplied by negative one. This is same as negative three, right? This is same as negative three, which means now this is same as what? This is same as three n subtract four, if I'm not mistaken. Right again. So, basically, now that's what you are going to have. For this particular pattern, right? Now, if let's say we are continuing swiftly along and then we want to look at uh, your, uh, they say now which term will equal to uh, 161, which means now we are going to take this number pattern and equate it, right? We are going to equate it. And how do we go about equating it? So we are going to say now here, this is 161 is equal to 3n subtract 4. Oh, it's okay. And then you're going to take the four, this side, right? 
are going to take the for this side, which is same as what? Which is same as 165 is equals to 3n, if I'm not mistaken, right? Then now we are going to divide both sides by 3. You divide here by 3. Divide here by 3, which means now the value of your n that you are going to find here, the value of your n that you are going to find here, it's same as 55, right? Once again, so which means it is term number 55, which is going to be equivalent to what? Which is going to be equivalent to 161. All together. So I am hoping that, you know, this type of a question makes sense to you and you can be in a position to answer all the questions whenever given, right? Thank you very much for listening.